A doubler allows you to operate two valves with only one set of wires coming from the controller. Dwayne Smith here, your Sprinkler Warehouse product specialist. Let's talk about the doubler. This doubler made by Transitional Systems will operate two valves with only one lead wire and a common wire. Here are several situations in which a doubler might be the solution to your problem. Now all of these problems involve avoiding running additional wire back to your controller. Problem one, you have a broken wire between the valve and the controller and you have another valve in the same valve box or really close by. Problem two, you want to add a zone to your system. So you're adding another valve into a valve box and you don't want to run additional wire back to the controller. Problem three, your controller has a malfunctioning zone terminal, but you have another valve in the same valve box or really close by that's working just fine. And those are three problems that I can think of. Maybe there's some other reason as well to use a doubler that I can't think of. So here's what a doubler does. It receives a signal from the controller the first time it receives voltage from the controller, it operates one valve, and the next time it receives a signal, it operates a second valve. So let's wire one up. I have two valves here that I'm gonna operate with just this red wire and the common. The hot wire coming from the controller attaches to the black wire on the doubler. Always use waterproof wire connectors for all these connections. Now these two reds here each go to a different valve. As far as I can tell, there's no way to tell which one will operate first. So you'll just have to test and see after all this is hooked up. It doesn't matter which wire coming from the valve connects to the red wire from the doubler as long as you have one wire from each valve connecting to one red wire from the doubler. So one from this valve and a red wire and one wire from this valve and one red wire. Got it? Now hook the other wire from both valves and the common, that should be a white wire, to the white wire coming from the doubler. And once again, waterproof wire connectors on all these connections. Let me recap that. Lead wire from the controller to the black wire on the doubler, one red wire from the doubler to one wire from a valve. It does not matter which wire on the valve, either one the other red wire from the doubler to the other valve. And the white wire from the controller hooks to the white wire from the doubler and one wire from each of the two valves. The doubler is waterproof and it's gonna live right here in your valve box. All right, let's head back to the controller. You can operate the doubler by using either one or two zones on your controller. If you're only using one zone or terminal to operate the doubler, you'll need to run a separate program that runs the same zone a second time. For example, if it's zone one, you'll need to run just zone one twice. It doesn't have to happen immediately. You can run all of your zones in order and come back and run the zone again after all the others are done. You're going to need to program your controller to do that. It will probably mean having a A program and a B program. I don't know which controller you have, so I can't tell you how to do that in this video. Another option, if you have two available zones on your controller, you can wire them like this. For this, you don't use zones that are next to each other. Have at least one working zone in between because controllers sometimes turn the next zone on too soon for the doubler to recognize that a change has happened. Make a small jumper wire like this to tie one zone to the other zone and hook the wire going to the doubler, in our case it's this wire, to one of these two zones. So what's happening here is this zone comes on and sends 24 volts from here to this wire and out to the doubler. And then when this zone turns on, it sends the signal out to the doubler. After you make these connections, test your zones to make sure they're working. We sell a lot of these, so many people do find this to be a useful solution. I hope this solves your problem. Buy your doubler today on sprinklerwarehouse.com. And don't forget the waterproof wire connectors, something like this or this. You need four of those if you don't have some already. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Get everything you need for that next landscape project from one of the proud members of the Heritage Landscape Supply Group. Your success is our heritage. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.
subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction.